What's up guys, got a petrol box in the mail. Thought I would open it up before I play this video. If you guys wanna grab one of these, go to mypetrolbox.com, but I'll show you what's in here. We got a new t-shirt that I'm getting all nice and dirty. Clutch Republic, zip ties, whole bunch of zip ties. Got a really cool wooden cup coaster, a turbo fan. Whoa, that's awesome. Our calendar, air freshener, little smiley man, grease monkey, Heavy duty white. Five of these things. A thing of electrical tape and the petrol box subscriber of the month. All right guys, so we'll continue on to the video. What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. So we're over at FW Motorsports today, hanging out with Brandon again. He's gonna be installing this UPR oil catch can and the Montune PCV plate. So we got Sparko here, hanging out in the chair. Mm -hmm. He's doing work. He'll supervise the whole thing, and we'll get down to it. He's got to approve the situation, so you know you always have to have the shop dog watching over you. So just an example of how much oil builds up inside of the intake manifold. If you guys can see there, all that juicy area, that's all oil inside that intake manifold. On a previous video that I did for the Mishimoto oil catch can, uh, you guys can check that out if you want to know how to take off the full intake manifold. I have step-by-steps on how to do that. Right now we have the intake manifold off on this direct injection motor and we got the intercooler cold side pipe right here. Now, what you'll see all in there right now, you see that oil down there in the bottom? That's what we're trying to eliminate from going into the engine. This car only has about 7,000 miles and you guys can already see all that blow by. So how was it taking off the intake manifold? Uh, it took me about eight minutes. Eight minutes? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, first time I actually did it, believe Ooh. it or not. But it was, it's cake. Just I mean, a couple bolts on the top, right? And then yeah, you those got your, ones on the side. You got your bolts on the top, and all you gotta do is, you know, you. I have a uh, little chingadera, little doohickey here. Ah, uh, yes. And you just pop these off, pop the PCV out, and then your throttle body connection, which you gotta pull this red tab out and then push down. And it's a little bit easier. I'm sure a lot of people have problems, but I already when have. When I took that off on the stock one, getting this piece off was kind of a pain in the ass, but. Yeah, now it's easy. You just pull a pin and it slides right off. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon's removing the PCV plate right down here. Those are eight millimeter bolts right around the sides. Keep them going and you'll get that plate out. There it is. Mmm. Way juicy. So you guys can see all the oil built up right there. It's already puddling. That's where you take the plate off right there. There is the stock Ford piece. Here is the mock tune piece. You can see the difference in the design. This extra baffle right here. You have to remove the factory Ford gasket and replace it in this piece. You'll notice right there, there's a little nipple, little nub on the factory gasket. You're gonna have to cut that off. So we have to remove this blue piece from the stock one. So all you gotta do, I put a little flathead screwdriver in there and took this ring off. It's got a couple of clips right here. Mm -hmm. And then you're able to pull this out. Nice. And this will go in the new Montune piece. So using a bit of heat, Brandon's gonna remove this little tube right here. When I did this on Chris's car, I did it with a fork tool. And it was kind of scary, but this seems like a better way. Yeah, don't put too much into it and melt it. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Cool. And there you go. And what do we got here? So we got one hose in and one hose out, right? Correct. And which one has the check valve on the... The one's going to be going back to the manifold. Gotcha. Which is right there. Yep. And has an arrow on there for flow. So basically, oil and crap comes to the PCV, into the catch can, and then out to, you got suction for the intake manifold. Now obviously the check valve, so when the car's in boost, you don't pressurize the catch can and blow it up. All right, just pull the old one out. Make sure you have the O-ring, the Montune part. You have to remove an 18 millimeter bolt for the motor mount or the mounting plate that is on the UPR breather. Also, you see this stud right back here in the corner. This wiring harness sits on that, so you have to pull this up and move it out of the way. All right, so throw on the breather plate down there. Got the gasket on, got it all cut, got that little blue piece on there. Then we can go ahead and install those eight millimeter bolts all the way around it. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy to get to. Once you have all the other goodies off, all right, so we went ahead and placed the whole thing in here. It sits on that bolt of the motor mount, and then it goes all the way back there and just kind of sits in there like this. And then you already had the lines installed on it, right, Brandon? So that made it a yeah. little easier. Yeah, I saw the lines. I thought we can just route them around because putting them on in the back is going to be kind of a pain. So we're routing it right down underneath the intake right there. 
like so. So you hook up the hose without the check valve to the out of the Montune breather, then or the factory Ford breather, and then that goes to the in of the catch can up here. From there, it will reroute back down and the other hose will come out with the check valve and that will go to the intake manifold. We put these fittings on each side of the hose right here. We got the one blue part on the oil breather right in there. And then we got this part and this one is going to go to the back side of the intake manifold right here. Now this is gonna be hard to show when we're installing it in the car. So I'll just show you guys here now. This part here on the side, you're still gonna use the factory clip. You have the throttle right here. That is right on the bottom. So first, We'll clip in throttle body. I'm gonna put that PCV connection in there. So you gotta make sure to stick it right down into the cold side of the intercooler. Really the only thing you're gonna be able to hook it to because it's the only thing that's there. <laughs> At this point, you're gonna wanna remove that tape. That was just making sure you don't drop any nuts, screws, bolts, beard hairs, anything down into the, uh, into the engine. The intake manifold also has dowel pins to locate it right on the back side. So once you feel those click in, you'll be good to go and you can retorque down the intake manifold. Went ahead and connected down the connectors on the side of the intake manifold. There are two, one on each side, passenger and driver. There are those little gray ones right there. They just click back in. And now we have to reinstall the map sensor and also the PCV on the side of the manifold over here. So there are six bolts that bolt down this intake manifold. So we're getting these bolts torqued down to 15 foot pounds, which is the factory spec. You guys can see it right back there. It fits really nicely. It's cool that it's uh, right up there in the top. Installation of this can up here is actually really straightforward. It's really nice. It's got this little nub right here that you can undo and twist off. That way you can take the catch can out to drain the oil. Probably recommended to do at every oil change just to check it out. We're going ahead and clicking down that side port on the intake manifold. Just another vacuum line. So go ahead and reinstall the map on the front of the manifold. Good to go. All done. Yay. Easy peasy. So when did you start this? Oh, about 8.30 or so. So it's about an hour to do everything. Okay, not bad. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's actually not that bad. Pulling off the intake manifold, not that bad. And then just routing the lines all that. I'll probably zip tie a few things to kind of keep it out of the way. Make it look clean, but other than that. You right it right you down do in there, you can see the little UPR on the line right there. Um, that if it jiggles around a bit, it'll make a bit of noise. So you're gonna wanna secure that down with the zip spark like zip ties. He's a garbage disposal. How do they smell? You hey. Big nut ball. Hey, let me get those. Let me get those. Like plastic clutch alignment tools and stuff, you give it to him and he chews on them. It's a must for every race car, right? That we put in some zip ties? Absolutely. Holds everything together. Yeah. If you don't have zip ties on your car, you just have not done enough modifications. <laughs> Need more zip ties. All right, so finished up the catch can install. Hopefully it'll be good. You know, I got the Monsoon PCV plate the oil breather cap and now the catch can. So hopefully, you know, no oil is gonna get in there or very little, which is gonna be good, you know, because it dilutes octane and also helps keep the back of the valves cleaner. Probably check it uh, next track days in a few weeks. So probably cool. check it after that, see how it does. And what's your Instagram if people wanna follow you? Bdog0341 is my Instas. All right guys, so thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Wrench on, guys.